And we're asked to solve the equation. We are going to determine the value of y in this very equation. Now, what can we do? We need to write down the equation first. We have 4, and inside the bracket, we have 3 or 2y plus 1. And we have plus. Also, have plus 11. And in bracket, we have 3 or y equal 5. This is what we have. Okay, I need to move this one over. I need to move it over to this other side. We got 4. And here, we can so write it as literally 1 of us. We write it as 3 power 2y. And we still have uh, 3 power 1. Okay? For these two, we're going to take one base and have up the indices and have this. Okay? And this one still remain. 3 power y still remain in bracket. Okay, remember I told you that we need to move this one over? Become minus 5 equals 0. Okay, now we can still go for that. Okay, 3 power 1 is less than 3, and it's 4 become 12. And here, I can't wear the working become 3 power y and square on the outside plus 11, and I still have 3 power y in bracket minus 5 equals 0. Okay, I can say let's p, okay, let's 3 power y. Equal k. Equal k. Means that wherever I have 3 power 1, I have to increase it k. Become 12 k squared plus 11 k minus 5 equals 0. Okay, we can still go further. We can still go further. Okay, it means that I need to factorize. This one is the quadratic equation. I need to factorize. It means that 12 times 5 will be 60. I want to have 60. I mean that because of the negative sign become minus 60. Now what can I add up? The two numbers I need to add up to get the coefficient of k when I multiply it, I have minus 60. And the numbers are simply 4 and 18. Okay, I'm going to have it as I'm going to have it as minus 4k okay plus 15k minus 5 equal 0. I need to pick this first two and factorize. I also pick the first two and factorize. Let us see now. I want to see. Okay, for this one, if I factorize, what is the highest common factor? And we have 4k as the highest. Okay, and we divide 12k squared and we will be left to 3k in that very one. And this one, I can also divide it from one. Okay, which one is the highest common factor here? We have uh, uh, plus. Five and plus five is factor out of course. Here now, when five divide here, we are left with three k. Okay, plus divide minus is minus. Okay, five divide five will be one equals zero. Okay, we have a common bracket and to pick one of the brackets and also pick the one outside outside the bracket. Okay, this is what I have. It simply means that three k. Minus 1 equals 0 or 4k plus 5 equal 0. Okay? Okay? For this one, I can make k the subject become k equal 1 over 3 or for this one, I have k equal minus 5 over 4. Okay? Now, for this one now, just look at the equation. We don't have k. The equation we are dealing with y. Okay, I need, I need to bring your mind back to this part and not forget. Okay, that's 3 power y equal k. Remember I told you earlier. Okay, if k is equal 1 by 3, what will happen now? I need to bring this one. 3 power y equal k. Don't forget that. So we look at it before. Okay. Okay. For k now we have 1 over 3. 1 over 3. And don't forget, we need to equalize this very uh, base. You can see the base here. And here we have 1 over 3. This one can as well be written as 3. This one here can as well be written as 3 power minus 1. 3 over 1. It can be written like this. It means that we have an equal base now. This one we need to go, the base we need to go. We now have, we now have the 
indices left y or minus one. Okay, for this one, it cannot be resolved because of this negative sign. I cannot resolve the other value. Meaning this very equation, we are going to have one value for it for y. It means that y is equal to minus one. Okay, now you have to resolve a problem like this. Thank you for joining me on the platform, GB Jumbo Online Mathematics. Please don't forget to also subscribe to my YouTube channel, Mathematics Science Mega Tutorial. All the best.